Hey everyone, I'm Alexia Murillo Orihuela reporting for Hollywood Connections on Tantalk Radio at the 2016 Comic Con Convention. And who are we with? Travis Vengroff. All right, so can you tell us um, what we're doing here today? Sure. I'm here uh, selling comic books and also CDs of uh, music that I write and create. So you are a creator of a lot of things. How did you get into creation? Actually, uh, storytelling is my first love. I went to the New York Film Academy many, many years ago, and I, I realized that I really enjoyed uh, storytelling. So um, it's very expensive to make a movie. If you want to draw a helicopter, it's a lot easier than actually renting a helicopter or making a CGI one. So I found comics was my love of uh, storytelling. And so when, do, um, when did you start with Liberty? Actually, about 10 years ago, I, I had this idea for a world, and over the last 10 years, I've been writing and developing it to make it a lot more detailed. And uh, in the last three years, I've started making the comic book, actually. Uh, I found an artist and creating these pages that I'm really proud of. That's wonderful. And so, what is mostly your comics about? Do you have one certain character, or do you do different kind of comics? Actually, I have a bunch of different stories set in the same universe. Uh, the best two-sentence description is, a military state is keeping us safe from gangs beyond its walls. And uh, in my different stories, you understand that these gangs might not be as bad as the propaganda uh, is telling us they are. And how did you come up with that idea? Have you had other ideas and that was probably your favorite? Like, how did that come, like, discovered and written out? I was, uh, in the initial development of the world, I was largely inspired by um, sort of different cultures from around the world, trying to think of if there was actually a post-apocalyptic sci-fi world, what would it be like? How would it be real and very human? So I looked to my own community, to communities beyond in all the different countries uh, that I've traveled to, and also uh, did a bunch of research on places I haven't been to, and what uh, poverty and resource scarcity does um, to different communities around the world. Oh, wow. And so you said you're also a musician, <clears throat> excuse me, does it involve together with your comics? Does it help inspire you? Um, is it some of the music inspired by the comics and your feel for comic love? Or when you started writing comics, is that something you just picked up? They're sort of separate. I have a, a concept album that I'm working on set in the sor same sort of universe, um, but typically not so much. Oh, that's wonderful. Um, so I heard that you've been to a lot of conventions and you've been to Comic Con before. What do you think of Comic Con? Uh, Comic Cons are fantastic. Yeah. Uh, uh, they're a lot of fun. The people are, are generally really friendly and uh, open to buying and trying new things. So what were you feeling when you sold your first comic? When I sold my first comic, it was, uh, it was really special. Um, you know, the idea that someone now is walking away with my story and they'll actually, like, maybe know the characters. They might actually read it one day. Uh, actually, the comment was, well, the art's pretty good. And it's like, yes! Okay. And um, do you, are you going to be attending any more comics, co um, any cons coming up soon to be selling your comic? Yeah, I'm actually, I'm going up to New York Comic Con. Uh, I'm going to be premiering the first volume of my comic, uh, which is like 120 pages graphic novel, uh, which I just did on Kickstarter, and it was successful, so that's pretty cool. Congratulations on that. If anybody wanted to um, purchase some of your comics, do you have a website, or can they find you at the different cons coming up? Where can they keep up to date with which one you're going to be attending? Yeah, uh, you can go to The Liberty Con. Uh, we have free stories, free podcasts. Um, also, I sell comics there as well. And I also go to a lot of conventions. The next one in Florida is going to be uh, Megacon uh, Tampa. And where are you located from? I'm from Sarasota, but I wrote all this stuff while I was going to USF. Oh, wonderful. And if anybody wants to check out some of your music? Uh, it would be carelessjuja, J-U-J-A dot com. Is there any word you'd like to give to anyone who is a future creator or is inspired to do the thing that you're doing? Can you give any advice to them? Absolutely. Just do it and make as many mistakes as you can and uh, power through it and learn from those mistakes. I've I've made many mistakes in all my different creations and I've, I've learned from them, but by actually doing what I love, I've gotten a lot better at at it than I was originally. That's wonderful. Well, thank you so much for your time, and your comics are really cool. You guys should, um, we'll get a little pan of your table and we'll show it off. It was nice meeting you. Thank you for your interview. Pleasure. Thank you. Thank you guys, and stay tuned for more from Comic Con. Please, please go find him. Please find him and interview him. I, I, I do some pretty cool